Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, Junk Man, coming back at you with good friend Larry J. Wampa here. And me and Larry's been talking, and we thought we'd share something with you guys. A lot of you probably don't know that uh, we have a lot of fun behind the scenes. Now, some of you that join Patreon seen some of the outtakes, but you probably hadn't seen the pranks. Larry is a master at doing pranks. I do them. Gangster Chewbacca does them. Even Dusty does them. That's right, even Dusty gets on in the act. We have to kind of, you know, make things a little fun when we're researching videos, editing videos. Oh, don't you hate editing videos? It takes forever. You're right about that. So we have to have a lot of fun. So we thought we would talk about the 10 best pranks that was played on each other while making videos for you fine folks out there in YouTube land. And I guess the first one that comes to my mind is what we call the figure in the mug prank. You remember that when you played on me, Larry? Oh, yeah, one of my classic pranks. It was a knee slapper. Well, let's show the people out there the figure in the mug prank. <laughs> I didn't even notice. What? Larry! Get the prank, bro! <laughs> You got me good on that one, Larry. You got me good on that one. I think you and the crew laughed about that for weeks. It was great. Well, it was funny. But I got my revenge on you probably about a month later. Remember that when we made a video and you were standing in front of the green screen? Oh, man, that one? <laughs> yeah, I kept changing the green screen out on you. And <laughs> Gangsta Chewbacca, Dusty, myself, we were all cracking up. But being the green screen behind you... You didn't even see it. You didn't even see the jokes. Yeah, I didn't even know it until I watched it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. Kenner released a lot of action figures throughout the years, but my favorite has to be Mr. Freeze from the Batman animated classic. That uh, released in the 90s. Now, I know a lot of you... Oh, what are y'all laughing at? What's so funny <laughs> over there? I'm trying to record this video. Y'all are never serious. Anyway, we're talking about oh, Mr. Oh. Stop laughing over there. How am I going to do this if you guys... Are not gonna. Oh, I'm out of here. That's that. That was a classic right there. A classic. How about the videotape swap? The videotape. I'm not sure if I remember the videotape. The videotape prank. You remember when you were talking about videotapes and I swatched them out? I do remember that. I was doing a video about my VHS collection. That was about a year ago or maybe two. I was really into buying old videotapes before. Now they're expensive on eBay. I think everybody got on boat now. But I was going to Goodwill picking them all up. And man, you, I had the beta tape. Well, let's just show people what happened. And probably my latest edition that I'm proud of is The Empire Strikes Back. Now you think this is just Empire on VHS like I already have. But no. Beta. Beta, that's right. I have the original Star Wars film. Now I got Empire. Now I'm going to have to find Return of the Jedi on Beta. What is Beta? Well, it was the competing format against VHS at the time, and we all know VHS won. The tapes are saying they're just a little smaller, as you can see here. <laughs> hey, this is Star Wars, not Empire. Who swapped it out? Get the prank, bro. Larry! That that was I I gonna be that's kind of overstepping the line on that one. I was like y'all are going too far with the pranks. Sometimes you guys are funny. I'm funny with the pranks, but you go a little too far with them. But it's just a prank, bro. That's true. That's true. And legally, it doesn't matter how far you go. If you follow it up by saying just a prank, bro, then we can't be upset. You know, you can be as mad as you want about a prank, but as soon as someone says just a prank, bro. Then you have to say, huh, you got me. It was just a prank, bro. Like the one we did on PTC? That's right. We did play a prank on Primetime Charlie. I think we've done a couple of them. And <sighs> people that know Primetime Charlie or PTC out there, he, I think it's a he, is really hyper all the time. He might be on drugs. Always mixing coffee and Red Bull. But we had to slow him down. Remember, we said we we're going to give him something to make him slow down. I don't know what we gave him. Fineral. Is that what it was? <laughs> and it did. It was just crazy seeing him so slow down. Take a look. Welcome back, guys. It's me, Primetime Charlie, coming back at you with another video. And today we're going to talk about the time Star Wars released action figures outside of the U.S. We're going to look at some release from Canada and maybe even some released under Europe that was released under the title Paul Toys 
not Canada like in the U.S. In fact, we got many countries that did a lot of Star Wars stuff. So let's take a look at them, then I can go and watch some JoJo's videos on the YouTube network. Whew, he is a little hyper, but I don't want to see him that slow again, do you? Oh, no, not I again. Blame you. What about Gangster Jabaka? We play pranks on him. We don't play mini pranks on him. And that's right. He gets a little upset even when he says, It's just a prank, bro. He still doesn't follow the rules and try to laugh at all. But remember that time he swished out his glasses and he didn't even know it? That was funny. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't even know he wears glasses. But check it out. And that's why I consider it to be one of the best. Why can't I see these cue cards? What's going on here? Wait, these are my glasses! Oh! That was a good one now. I think we laughed for months on that one right there. That was really funny. What about when I prank something in your background? You played a prank on me where you changed something in the background? Yeah, I turned one of your toys upside down. Huh. I, I don't remember. We got a clip of that? Hmm. Let's take a look. I mean, I'll be honest, I love a lot of Kenner toys, but I never was into Kenner sports toys like the starting lineup. But it's glad to see they're coming back. And you never know, they might do something I really enjoy. Who knows, they may, may even, they may even make an action figure based on Mean Joe Green. Now I admit, I'm going to have to get that one right there. Mean Joe Green, even if I wasn't into football, there was no cooler icon in the early 80s than Mean Joe Green. I even won a Mean Joe Green jersey from Coca-Cola. Used to wear that thing all the time. I loved it. I don't even remember that prank. I mean, this is the first time I've seen anything about it. To be honest, I wouldn't even know it. I, I don't know. That's not a very good prank there, Larry. I even called my uncle and we laughed about it for at least four weeks. I really got you well, good. The remember that time you were trying to give a report about some new figures in front of the green screen? and whoa, I really let you have it on that one. No, I didn't change the green screen this time, but you remember what I'm talking about. It's a classic. Oh, that one. Yeah, I don't even want to set this one up. It's so good. Check this out. Well, I'll tell you what I really love in the 90s, and that was a line of Superman figures based on the cartoon of the 90s. A lot of people don't talk about the 90s cartoon, but I think it was really well done. You know, they're trying to capture in, everybody was crazy about the Batman cartoon and the toys, so that. They do a cartoon and toy lines of Superman. It's really now that's funny right there. I don't care what planet you're from. Marlin Seven. Okay, maybe not that planet. Oh, uh, Dusty also one of our newest members to the channel got into the act also, and <laughs> we played a good trick. I remember the remember the hat trick. Yeah, we switched her hat out. Yeah, we replaced her little pink baseball hat that she's always wearing with the Kenner Indiana Jones hat. <laughs> it was out. Well, that started a whole new generation of He-Man fans. And to talk about those new 90 He-Man toys, here's our own Dusty fill us in. Hey, y'all, it was me, Dusty. I'm here to talk about He-Man. I can't wait. I really <laughs> like that He-Man. What, what, what are you laughing at? Wait, wait. This is my trusty pink hat. What's going on here? This is some kind of wool hat. It itches my head. What, what's going on? Where's my pink hat? It's part of my Kenner accessories. I gotta have a pink hat. Where is my pink hat at? That was a good one. To be honest, I think she looked better with that hat on. At least it's not one of those dumb flat bill hats. Well, you could be right about that. Um, let's see if there's any more. I'm sure there's some more pranks. What about Primetime Charlie? Do we do any more pranks on him? Oh, yeah, the JoJo one. That's right. We woke him up and told him uh, JoJo died. Now, if you don't know JoJo, she's a YouTuber. She's like 12 years old or something. I don't know. She's really hyper like him, and he loves JoJo. And we told him what? That she died. <laughs> JoJo died in a car wreck. Was, that was probably the best of all the pranks. Check it out. This is going to be great. Here, watch this, watch this. Hey, Primetime, did you hear the news? What news was that? That JoJo died in a car crash today. JoJo ain't dead. JoJo ain't dead. It's just a prank, bro. Uh, oh, oh, just a prank, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's good. And, and he was upset about that? He was ready to kill himself. Until you said, just a prank, bro? Got that on video. Oh, you got a... Let me see that. 
Well, that's funny. Well, I think that's about it for the pranks. There's one more. Oh, one more on me? The escape pod. Oh, classic. <sighs> Let's take a look at the time Larry J. Wampa pulled a prank on me, the junk man, with my Kenner escape pod toy. What in the world are you doing, Larry? <laughs> Playing a practical joke on junk man. Tell you, man, that's what I call one practical joke. Now, one thing I really loved about the Land of Jawa playset was it came with an escape pod, like you saw in Star Wars. Think of it as maybe one of the first mini rigs. The only way to get it was to buy the Land of the Jawa playset. You could open the lid and put figures inside. More importantly, R2 and 3PO, and just like the movie, open the just now. open the lid here, and you have the container right here where you can put them in. <laughs> Who shit in my escape pod? Just a prank, bro! Oh, Larry! <laughs> That was a low blow there, Larry. You got me good on that one. That was a low blow. And, but, hey, it's just a prank, bro. So, I can't get upset about it now, can I? Well, I just kind of wanted you guys to see the fun, the shenanigans that go on around the junk room in between the videos or behind the scenes. And don't forget, if you join Patreon, you get to see some outtakes. And hopefully, it'll be more soon. I haven't done an outtake video in a while, and hopefully, we will. And we do other videos and other things there. So you can become a Patreon or YouTube member. Either one will get you access to that at any tier level. So I want to thank you. Uh, anything you want to add, Larry? Relax. It's just a prank, bro. Sounds good. Well, just remember, next time you click on a Junkman video, you might be just getting pranked yourself. Who knows? Thank you for watching. Hey, Junkman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>